in Mikey's kitchen. Today we're cooking Arkansas beef and Swiss. Not Philly beef and Swiss because we're not in Philly, but it's something like it. I'm using this Gary's Quick Steak, it's called. It's a hell of a lot better than Steakums or getting something and slicing it up yourself. I've done that, but this stuff's pretty good. It only it cooks in a few minutes. It's got a little olive oil up in the skillet. I've got my green peppers, onions, and a little bit of my sweet banana peppers from my garden in there, and olive oil. I use a lot, a lot of olive oil instead of butter, but I am going to use some butter on this cheesesteak. So let's get this stuff going, and I'll come back. Now we got things rolling. I got the steak done. I'm going to pour the. I got some green peppers, some mushrooms, onions, and peppers. I'm going to pour in there and mix it up. Then we're going to melt some cheese on it. And again, I need a new frying pan. Turn this up. I'm just going to mix it all in there. take some baby Swiss. I hate these packages. They make them impossible to open. So I just cut them open. Put them in something else. Get a little Swiss cheese on there. sharp cheddar on top of that. Put a lid over that for a minute so it'll melt and I'll be back and show you the finished product. And there we have it folks. Arkansas cheese steak. Man, that looks so good, I might, but then them things are big, there's no way I can eat two. But I'll wrap one up and eat it later, and there's enough left to make another one. And as always, I'm going to wash it down with ice cold milk, swigged right out of the daggum jug, because nobody else lives here, and nobody's going to complain, and why dirty up a glass? Okay, today... Was short, two short videos. That seems to work. It still takes forever to upload. It is what it is. Uh, we'll get it done uh, tomorrow. I think I'm gonna drag out some tools, woodworking tools. We're gonna try to build something. Or I've got a set of cabinets back here that I built, and I just hung the doors. Sometimes on that see uh, that see the red cedar. If it's new, you gotta let it sit a while, dry out. Or you even think of adjusting the hinges, so that's what it's been doing. Now, it doesn't sound too fun, but hey, I may build some birdhouses, or there's a lot of things that need trim on it. We'll figure something out, but I got a lot of scrap wood out there that's just laying around, so we might as well do something fun with it. And then Friday, I might take you on a trip to Oklahoma. Gotta go to Hebner, Oklahoma. There's certain things I buy up there that's a lot cheaper than here in town. Certain things you can't get in this town or in this county. So, until then, we'll be seeing you. Please subscribe. I think it's up there. Might be down there, there, there. It may not be there at all. I'll figure that out. And give me a like and leave me a comment. Happy trails. <laughs>